Anatomy of the patella. The patella is the largest sesamoid bone in the body. The patellar tendon attaches the patella to the top of the tibia. The quadriceps muscle is attached superiorly to the patella. A small part of the quadriceps tendon then continues over the front of the patella to become the patellar tendon. The apex of the patella, which is the distal part, is non-articular. This area does give attachment to the patellar tendon. There are certain bursa seen around the patella, the suprapatellar, the prepatellar, and the infrapatellar. Patella thickness is about 2.5 cm. The cartilage thickness is about 5 mm in the mid portion. It is probably the largest thickness of cartilage in the body. Patella has two facets, medial facet and lateral facet. The medial facet, you have two, the medial facet proper and the odd facet. The odd facet articulates with deep flexion of the knee and is located in the distal medial portion of the patella. The lateral facet is longer and wider. It is larger and broader. The two facets are separated by a vertical ridge. The medial facet is smaller, it's probably half of the lateral facet. The patellar tendon works with the quadriceps to straighten the leg. This diagram showing the forces and constraints applied to the patella during its function. You can see here the medial retinaculum and vastus medialis medially, the lateral retinaculum, the vastus lateralis, and the iliotibial band laterally. The patella increases the moment arm of the quadriceps by moving the muscle insertion away from the joint axis. This will increase the ability of the quadriceps to produce torque around the knee joint. The patella is fully engaged at 40 to 45 degree of flexion and the forces at the patellofemoral joint is about three to five times the body weight. When the patient has a displaced patellar fracture or when the patellar tendon or the quadriceps tendon is torn, the patient will not be able to do active extension of the knee. If the patellar tendon is ruptured, the quadriceps will pull the patella upwards. And if the quadriceps tendon is ruptured, the patellar tendon will pull the patella downward. Complete tear of the quadriceps or the patellar tendon can be identified clinically. However, it may show on an X-ray, an MRI may be helpful. Rupture of the patellar tendon causes patella alta. Rupture of the quadriceps tendon causes patella baja or patella infra. The most common problem after patellar fracture fixation is a painful hardware. The medial patellofemoral ligament insert at the medial patella at the upper half and it is restrained to lateral patellofemoral subluxation. If the medial retinaculum and the medial patellofemoral ligament are torn, there might be lateral dislocation or subluxation of the patella. You can see that on sunrise view. You may also see the specific bony bruise pattern 
on the medial aspect of the patella and on the lateral femoral condyle, and that will be seen on the MRI. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.